Hey, thanks for watching another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a time lapse in Photoshop. Now, if you have a slower computer with not as much physical memory, uh, especially a laptop, you may want to resize your images first before you start doing the video. So, I'm going to show you a quick way you can resize multiple images um, at once. Eventually, we're going to go to automate and batch, but first we need to create an action because the batch is going to use our action. So I'll go ahead and open an image real quick and create a new set in the actions. And now I'm just going to create a new action. Basically this will record each step you do to an image and I'll save it and it can do it again for you. So I'm going to start out by doing image size. Control Alt I or Command Option I on a Mac and in this case I'm going to do 4k video um, if you're doing if if your computer has less than probably six to eight gigabytes of RAM you probably want to do 1080 but I'm gonna do 4k which is 2160 pixels high so I'll do that and if you notice the action recorded image size within the image size it's recorded all of the input I put in the next thing I'm going to do is save it but uh, I want to mention that you can change the canvas size or you need to crop it that way or you can use the crop tool if you want to crop it to a 16 by 9 aspect ratio that's fine too the action will record it and it'll do it on each pi picture in the batch but I'm just going to save it and push control and W to close the document and you notice it recorded each of those steps so I'll collapse the action and select it and now I'm gonna go to automate and batch and you notice that my action is selected there so now I'll just select the folder I want it to use push OK and I'll bring in the picture, resize, save, close. And I'll do that for every picture in that folder. So we'll come back in a few minutes as soon as this is done. Okay, now that Photoshop has kindly resized all the pictures for us, we can go ahead and start with the video. Go to File, Scripts, and Load Files into Stack. Go ahead and browse for the folder they're in. Push Control and A or Command and A on a Mac. And I'll select all your pictures. I want to also point out that you can use Shift if you just want to select a certain group of pictures. You select the first image, hold Shift, and you go to the end point that you want to select, and it'll select everywhere in between. But I'm just going to select all the pictures in the folder. There's 150 here. Within a few seconds, you'll see the file names pop up right here. Once it does, you push OK. And you'll notice it'll load all the files into the stack for you. Okay, now that all your pictures are loaded into the stacks, go to Window and activate the timeline. Now select all of the images by pushing Control, Alt, and A, or Command, op Option, and A on a Mac and you want to create video timeline and now you want to go right here and you want to set the timeline frame rate I'm going to use 24 frames per second uh, since my interval in between each picture here was 25 seconds it's gonna go by pretty fast so I don't need to do 30 or 60 frames a second anything like that so I'm just gonna use 24 frames per second hit OK. The next thing you need to do is convert the frames in, or the, actually convert the clips into frames. So now you'll notice it's got a uh, video group for each layer. So what you want to do now is come over here and new video group from the clips. Now they're all in one video group. There's one problem though your files are going to play backwards. So to do, deal with that, 
you want to go ahead and select all of your images hold control and deselect video group go up to layers arrange and reverse and now everything's good okay and one final thing you need to export your video go to file export and render video you can also find render video right here or right down here either way you just open the render dialog and I'm just gonna set the size to document size the frame rate to the document frame rate high quality H.264 Adobe Media Encoder. I've already got my folder set that I want to and I'll just name this time-lapse and I'll render video. As soon as this is done you've created your time-lapse. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. See you later.